Hey there, friends. I hope you're ready for some exciting news. Hold on to your seats. Apple has officially announced the dates for WWDC 23. Now that is right. You can mark your calendars Monday, June 5th through the 9th, because this is really going to be one epic event. Apple's going to show us all the cool things that they have planned for us this year. Now, don't worry if you can't attend the event in person because Apple's offering a hybrid model where they're having uh, in-person and remote viewing experience for the second time. That's right, you can join in all the fun by streaming the content and the sessions online starting Monday, June 5th at 10 a.m. Pacific or 1 p.m. Eastern. And if you are a registered Apple developer, you can enter the lottery to attend the event in person. Now, I did this last year. It was tons of fun because I was able to visit Apple Park. I was able to visit the brand new developer center and meet up with other like-minded people who love talking about Apple. Uh, really in meeting up with Apple employees. It was just a lot of fun. It was a whirlwind experience and it's really just like a lot to take in because it's a one day experience, but it was great nonetheless. Now this year's WWDC is gonna be jam packed. We're gonna get new software updates for iOS 17, iPad OS 17, the new version of Mac OS, which I think maybe I'd be like something like Helena, uh, watch OS as well as TV OS. I think 17 is gonna be the new version. Now, guess what? There are a chance that we could see some new hardware as well, which I love to see new hardware. There's a possibility of getting our first look at Apple's VR headset, which, you know, long rumored, this is gonna need developers to really to buy into this, to create the use cases and the applications for it. Now, I don't know about you, but I really don't think that this is gonna cost $3,000 like the rumor says. And who in their right mind is gonna spend $3,000 on this? I think it's gonna be like $9.99, good price, $14.99, better price, $17.99, best price. That's the pricing model that Apple seems to follow. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Now, in addition to the VR headset, we probably will get a look at, or at least a glimpse of the Mac Pro in Apple Silicon. Now, while really it's conjecture, well, whether it's gonna have you know an M2, M3 Pro, Ultra, whatever the case is, extreme, I cannot wait to see what this computer is capable of because it's really gonna deliver a lot of heavy compute needs for people that need the modularity and the power. Now, I don't know about you. Let me know what you are most excited for down in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed because I have my iOS and iPadOS 17 wish list, what I want to see Apple fix in the iPhone and the iPad coming soon. My name is Mike, and I will talk to you guys in the next one.